Good morning everybody, how are you doing? Cam's here with another another practice session. Fred Node, book one, solo guitar playing, starting from where we left off on Wednesday, which was at exercise 44. Just about to start exercise 44. I missed yesterday. Nobody reached out and said, where are you? So, <laughs> come on folks. I'm doing this for accountability's sake, so if I miss a day, I want people in there saying, Oi, where are you? I need to have some... What's the word? Well, there's accountability. I need some encouragement. I need someone to... I need you to jump in and say, Where are you? Well, I'll tell you where I was. I was working. I was out doing a video shoot for a client, which I really enjoyed. I went round the island, which is fantastic. Conditions were perfect, and I had a really fun day. Anyway, that's not why you tuned in. So, I just did a quick warm-up session, and I looked at exercise 43, sorry, 44, and it's the timing, it's a little complicated. I'm having to count my way through it and play the notes as I'm still learning to read and get the fingering right. So it's the fingering that's kind of getting left by the wayside at the moment. I mean, really what you should do is practice all three of those things at once, nice and slowly, and then pick it up. So that's really what I should do. So. I have warmed up with exercise 44, so I should be able to play it through reasonably soon. I'm going to count my way through it to start with. But once I get on to exercise 45, I've not warmed up with that one. So it might be a bit of a challenge to get through, so you'll see me stumbling around. But this is a practice session, it's not a lesson, so that's why I'm not going to worry too much about that. So. Exercise 44. It's in 3-4 time. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 1. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1. We'll start on the right note, which is the G. 1, 1 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2. This was going alright. It's funny because camera syndrome is making me mess up a little bit. So it's really good practice if you are a performer to practice in front of a camera because it does switch on that mind shift of going into performance mode. Brian Sutton used to talk about this a lot on his Artist Works channel. I did a few lessons with Brian over two or three years and he was a really big advocate of sending in videos of yourself playing because he said as soon as you switch on the camera you start to perform and it changes the way you play in a good way it kind of hyper focuses in on all the mistakes you're making and all the the way that the nerves get in the way of your brain so that's what's happening here because i got through this one before i started recording so anyway so we're playing a g C and an E and then when we yeah there are no there are no lower three strings at all in this one. So here we go one, two, three, 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 I messed up.
So you'll see the time is a little odd and it doesn't sound really very musical at all counting my way through it. So I'm going to try and get into a bit of a flow with it. So we'll leave that one there, it's playable, starting to sound a little bit musical. Let's move on to exercise 45, again in 3-4 time. And remember, I haven't had a look at this one yet, so this is completely new to me. Let's see how we get on. We've got some rests, some ties, and all again on the top three strings. So here we go. I'll start nice and slowly. One, two, three. disastrous.
very satisfying. I'm actually reading, playing without falling off. It's incredibly satisfying. So what are we doing for time? StreamYard doesn't actually say how long I've been streaming. I can look at my external recorder, which is 12 and a half minutes. So should we move on to another one? Exercise 46. Maybe I'll leave this because... Yeah, I think we'll leave it there for today. Exercise 46. We're going back to 4-4 four, four time. 47. No, we won't. I'll move on because I want to crack on. And I missed a day yesterday, so let's crack on. So, 4-4 four, four time. Starting, we're using the A string and the low E string. And are we using the... The D string at all? Yes, we are. So we're playing all the three lower strings, and also we're playing all six strings, in effect, I think, here. So one, two, three, four. <laughs> yeah, that was right, I think. This one.
that's exercise 46. I'll warm up with that one when I start tomorrow. Maybe I will do tomorrow, it's Saturday, but because I missed a day, I'll try and fill that in. That would be a good idea. So thanks for watching, folks, and uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.